tribe hello 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 this is evie it's pretty much the anniversary for the live action little mermaid sunshine here today <laughs> what's good dolly tribe i am hoping that everything is going wonderful and well in your lives that um positivity and prosperity and blessings are showering themselves all over you today dolly tribe i am here to talk about you know it's mermaid i got my little doll grotto going on over here in the corner if y'all can see it my little mermaid grotto but most of all i have the lovely vanessa here but yeah this is vanessa from the live action little mermaid 2023 film and I've been wanting to unbox this doll. And I just want to tell y'all, this doll is very popular in the um, Instagram doll community, fashion doll community. She is very popular. Like there, I mean, so is the Halle Bailey and a doll and all of the sisters and stuff. But this doll, I see up and down my timeline and I know why she's cute. She's just as cute as all the other dolls. And so let's take a look at the packaging y'all <laughs> okay so here is vanessa in the box it has um i think prince eric's kingdom and and castle and stuff in the background and then right here it says little mermaid vanessa and then on the side you can see the artwork and all of this here is the doll she's fastened in real good and then yes i got her from ross for 6.99 sure did <laughs> i know i've recently seen them at marshall's i think and i think they're even lower than that. i think it's 4.99 or 5.99 but this is the doll on the back of the box they have her presented very nicely and again it says the little mermaid vanessa and it says the little mermaid reimagines the beloved story of ariel a curious mermaid who belongs to Oh, sorry, who longs to experience life on land and finds herself on an unexpected journey of self-discovery. She also discovered that Vanessa was Ursula. <laughs> um, and here is the Halle Bailey dolls. They still have tons of them. And seeing that this is the anniversary, first anniversary of this movie, there's probably more out there than normal on the shelves. I've seen people posting under Halle Bailey's actual uh twitter account their doll she posted on her account about her dolls and this is what made me kind of want to do this video today and the fact that um a couple of my kitties um i had to take them to the shelter today <laughs> so i'm needing to pick me up y'all i really do because <laughs> i want to just go to crying i had to you know um they were ready for adoption so i had to take them to the shelter she has some serious box hair loves. She does some very serious box hair. Okay. All right. Hmm. Let me get a doll stand. The ones that had all the, um, what is it called? One of my kitties is hovering. Come on in here, girl. Come on in here, girlfriend. Come here. I'm saying, oh, what's wrong with you? Need some water, girl. I gave you some water. Who is that? I don't know. I think it was it. Come on, let me take you to your babies and some water. Okay? Yes. He's so pretty. Ooh, child. Things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child. They're gonna be brighter. <laughs> Uh, that's what I got to keep telling myself because these kitties, mm, mm, mm. hopefully this is for real my last time. Um, Y'all probably done heard this a thousand times, but hopefully this is my last time actually um, fostering kittens because I need like a five-year break, maybe a 10-year break of doing so. Anyway, <laughs> so here is the Vanessa live action little mermaid 2023 doll she is gorge um i don't know what sculpt this is i'm pretty sure that this is a 
new sculpt i'll look on the back of her head in just a moment but um she has brown hair very pretty color brown and it looks like her eyes are blue she has a very cute red lipstick on she has the um seashell um necklace on where ariel's voice was captured into and then she has on this pretty purple dress y'all know i love purple and i don't know what time frame this little mermaid took place in i have no idea but um this is giving me some kind of like victorian or something vibes to this dress now i may not have the right time frame but um i do love the kind of dress this is the puffy sleeve the you know the kind of mesh sleeve at the same time and then we have this deal here at the waist like a um corset or a bodice of some sort and the fabric on it feels okay it's not the best feeling fabric in the world but it's not bad and let's see how many layers this has so so it's two layers and then she has these black heels very nice black heels i like these a lot y'all see them they look very good they look very very good on her and here is the back of the dress in case you were not able to see that it velcros right here in the back pretty well stitched together and all that good stuff and let's take a look at her face um she has a very pretty face very pretty face they did a good job it's not too pixelated it's slightly pixelated but it's not too bad and i noticed that a lot of you guys have her as some kind of character you know <laughs> in your doll stories or just like the photographer and stuff and i can definitely see why all the dolls that came out in this um little mermaid wave this time were very extremely well done extremely well done look at that profile on her mm -mm -mm. that's a pretty looking face all right, now I'm going to look on the back of her head to see what it says. 2022 Mattel. So, I believe this is a was a brand new face mold at the time. They probably called it the Vanessa Sculpt or something. I don't know. Um, I'd have to go to Mattel Sculpting to figure that out, really. And she looks kind of small, doesn't she? Let me get a normal size Barbie here because this is Lise. Y'all seen her recently. She's slightly smaller than a regular size Barbie, or she could be the same same size. I'm not really sure because Lise has on these um, shoes from Mini Fashion, so it might be kind of helping her be a little taller. But she's given a little shorter for some reason, in my opinion. Let's see. Let's try one more doll. Um, nudity alert! Nudity alert! I'll try to cover up a little bit, but let's see. Yeah, she's she's smaller than a standard Barbie because I have my Vera Wayne doll here. And then her hair is very well made. Um, they rooted it pretty well. Y'all can see that right there. They rooted her hair fairly well. I can't complain about how they, how they rooted the hair. It's done very well. You can see around their hairlines here, the crown of her head and all that. Got a cute little ear mold too. Cute little ear mold. So this is y'all fave. <laughs> well, this is a lot of people's fave, and I definitely see why. She does look like a girl that you know, girls I went to college with, or you know, different things like that. So she's uh, she seems to be a very relatable sculpt doll, and she's pretty. So I will be rebodying her onto a doll that is probably a little taller and um i may do a short for that i'm not sure but this is the vanessa doll from the 2023 live action little mermaid film since it was kind of like the month that this um movie came out last year like the first anniversary of it i did want to showcase a doll and since i hadn't unboxed her this is why she is showing up 
all right dolly tribe thank you so much for dipping in the doll atmosphere with me and vanessa here today <laughs> and i just want to say i think her hair is um a high quality either um nylon or it's saran i think i think it's a really just a good grade of nylon to be honest i don't think it's saran but it's it's a very good grade of doll hair and so thank you so much for watching don't forget to keep the sunshine in your life <laughs> all right dolly tribe have a wonderful weekend for those of you guys that are mothers happy mother's day and many blessings bye bye show yourself one more time vanessa because you're looking good girl you're looking good <laughs>